down, sit, sit, and turn around. Don't even look at me, just turn around. The only two people I want looking at me are James and Muhammad, that's it. You guys can look at me. The rest of you, fucking turn around! And I want you to listen. You don't need to look at me to understand this. You guys are professional football players. Apparently last night, you guys studied the big ace, the I formation, the strong and weak, the shotgun, the empty set, the full house, but you forgot about the fucking pistol. Now let me explain to you morons, you muffin heads, what the fuck the pistol is. The pistol is when the quarterback is in front of the running back, so the running back is behind him, and usually there's a fullback to the quarterback's right. And this is all in the shotgun. Now during this pistol formation, we, we have an extreme susceptibility, if that's even a word, to uh, uh, read options. Now, if you don't know what the fuck a read option is, basically, it, it, it looks like this. Here's the quarterback, okay? Say I'm the quarterback. I take the ball, I look at the defense, especially whoever is in the box, that means close to the line of scrimmage, and I look at the front seven. <laughs> okay, if I see a defender on the edge, I'm expecting a run defense. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap the ball, I'm going to get it, I'm going to pretend I'm handing it off, and as soon as I see this edge rusher come for him, I'm going to take it. So that way... The edge rusher tackles the ball carrier and not me. If the ball carrier comes for me, if I hand it off and he comes for me, I'm going to let go of it so that the fucking running back runs with it. You guys had no fucking clue what a read option was or what the fuck the pistol formation was. None of you! That is literally their entire playbook, offensively. It's the pistol. That's all they do. Literally. And people wonder why a motherfucker has to drink. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Let me ask you another question. Alright, I want to get my fucking numbers right. I want to get my numbers right. Yeah, this is a new computer. Yeah, the other one's torn to shit. I might as well just fucking smash it, right? Okay. I want you to figure out something for me as soon as this fucking Wi-Fi kicks in. I want you to fucking figure something out for me. How the fuck? How? How? How the fuck? Do you go from... Oh, here we go. Let me look at the... Here we go. Alright. I want to ask you something. How the fuck do you go from 3 to 0 to 14 to 10 to 7 uh, to, to 14 again to 0 again to 13 to fucking 37? How? You fucking piece of shit! Fucking pieces of shit, morons, assholes, just fucking 
imbeciles! You fucking mutants! Mutants! I'm gonna have a fucking stroke over you guys. Turn around, you piece of sh Turn around! What the fuck did I tell you? Don't look at me! Turn around! This is a wake-up call for you fucking clowns. This is a fucking wake-up call. We play the, the, uh, the Eagles, the Cow Queers, the Texans, and the Chiefs. I have us going 11-5. and five. With this piece of shit defense, I have us going 11-5. and <sighs> So-called elite. Elite. Fucking defense. Bullshit! your heads in fucking shame because you absolutely suck you guys are bipolar you know that's what you are you guys are bipolar that's what it is you guys are bipolar you I mean, you, you make other teams your bitch the first half of the season, but then you become their bitch the second half. But are we talking about prostitution? ARE WE TALKING ABOUT PROSTITUTION?! I DON'T THINK SO! Listen up, you mutts. If we don't get our shit together, and I mean by the 17th, I think. When the fuck is our next game? Put your hand down. Put your fucking hand down. I can fucking... I have something called a computer. I have something called the internet. I can fucking figure it out. Thank you. Fucking jerk off. Turn around! Actually, I take that back. Kyle and Dante, you guys can turn around, too. I, I really appreciate uh, you, you, you guys trying to get this team together. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I think it was 2017 when we played the Lions. And Dietrich tried to get our shit together. He tried. But... You fucks. <coughs> you bastards gave up. So, yeah, by the 17th, if we don't get our shit together, and I mean by the 17th, that's two weeks. You guys have two weeks to get your shit together. That's a lot of time. That's a fortnight to get your shit. Not the fucking shitty fucking game, okay? I'm talking about the term. A fortnight means two weeks. You have a fortnight to get your shit together. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Shout out to Vic DiBetetto for the Are we here to talk about blah blah blah? I don't think so. Shout out to him. And shout out for the imbeciles, and the mutant, the mutants, the morons. But you guys were a bunch of fucking mutants and imbeciles out there. Minus Muhammad, James, um, Dante, and, and Kyle. You four tried to rally the team, and I appreciate that. Let's break down the first quarter. The first quarter, it was the first quarter from hell. 17 goddamn points. <coughs> or was it 14? Where the fuck it was? How the fuck is it? You guys go from 0 here, and then 3, and then 14, and 0, and 3, and 7, and 14, and 10, and then to fucking 37. What? What, what the fuck? That doesn't make any fucking sense. 
This is why, here, here's another question. If we, ca if we had Josh Gordon, if we had A.B., hell, even if we had Brandon, would we have won? I think so. But what the fuck do I know, right? I'm just a fucking coach. I said that last year. <coughs> oh shit, hold on. <coughs> See, now you guys are making me fucking... <sighs> you fucking... Oh my fucking fuck. Alright, I'm done. You release Josh Gordon on bullshit reasons. And you release... A B for bullshit reasons. What the fuck? You see this bag of weed? You see this DNA test? I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. You understand? I don't give a shisa. I don't. I care about your ability to fucking score. Now, obviously, if you're a convicted serial killer, then that's a different fucking story. All innocent until proven guilty. Was A.B. proven guilty? No! Was Josh Gordon guilty? Yeah, but he was willing to change, and he did. <coughs> We need all the fucking receiver help we need. Receiver, offensive line, and tight end. Our offense is just fucked. You know, you want to know what our offense is? It's Mohamed Sanu and James White. That's our whole offense. We got one, one okay receiver, one decent running back. That's it. Tom, that bullshit interception that you threw was so fucking... Jesus fucking Christ. And then Julian. Julian. Turn around. <coughs> Get this through your head. Get this through your head, you squirrel motherfucker, you! Hold on to the fucking ball! We're on to Philly in two weeks. Um, <coughs> I, I don't, uh, um, I don't know what to tell you besides get your shit together. You got two weeks, two, one, 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 two. You got two weeks to get your shit together. Okay. I'm not mad at you, I'm hurt. I'm hurt, and I'm angry. So yes, I am mad at you. I'm mad at you because you guys are better than this. And you you know it. You know it, guys. You know it, goddammit. So, show that to me. I want you to pluck the eagle's feathers and shove them, half of them up their ass, half of them down their fucking throat. <coughs> and then impale them with your bayonets on the end of your muskets. Alright? This is a Super Bowl rematch coming up. And then we play the Cowqueers. And then the Texans. And then the Chiefs. And then I think the... I, I want to say the Bills and then the Dolphins and then we're done. Alright, get out of here. Get fucking lost. <laughs>